Immerse yourself in the profound insights offered by Father Chuck Belmonte as he delves into daily reflections on various gospel passages from the Bible. May 5th to Sunday. We have been created for heaven. Our Lord promised his disciples that he would be with them forever. He said, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you may be also. The apostles, who were saddened by Peter's predicted denials, found comfort in the hope of heaven. The return that our Lord is referring to includes his second coming at the end of the world, as well as the meeting with each soul when it leaves the body. Our death will be a meeting with Christ, whom we have tried to serve throughout our lifetime. He will bring us to the fullness of glory and our meeting with his heavenly Father, who is also our Father. In heaven, where a place has been prepared for us, Jesus awaits us. It is the same Jesus who is with us, who awaits us in prayer, and with whom we have often had intimate conversations. Our regular conversations with our Lord give birth to the desire to be with Him. Faith sweetens much of the bitterness of death. Our love for Jesus completely changes the meaning of that final moment that comes for everyone. Those in love try to see each other. People in love have ease only for their beloved. That's logical, isn't it? The human heart feels this need. I would be lying if I denied my eagerness to contemplate the face of Jesus Christ. I will seek your countenance, O Lord. J. Escriva. The thought of heaven helps us detach from the things of this world and overcome difficult situations. We bring joy to God when we foster the theological virtue of hope which is united with faith and love. There will be times when we will need it greatly. When tempted, think about the love waiting for you in heaven. Foster the virtue of hope. This is not a lack of generosity. The same applies during moments of great sorrow and trial, and when it's very challenging to remain faithful or persevering in our work or apostolate. The reward is significant, and it's just around the corner, not far away. Meditating on heaven, our destination, should encourage us to be more generous in our daily struggle, because the hope of the reward comforts the soul and leads to good works. Words are inadequate to describe our life in heaven, the life that God has promised to his children. The church reminds us that we will be with Christ and we shall see God. It is in these promises and marvelous mysteries that our hope essentially lies. Our imagination may not be able to comprehend these heights, but our heart does so instinctively and completely. Excerpts from In Conversation with God by F. Carvajal. I would be delighted to extend an invitation to you once again tomorrow for another insightful reflection on the gospel by Father Belmonte.